In the spring of 1946, Quinton Everest, Warren Mangus, and Seth Rohr stood on a muddy, wooded, 40-acre plot of land, contemplating their next steps. For years, they had worked with others from their denomination to advance a vision for a college that would integrate faith and learning, equipping young people to transform their communities. The denomination had made an offer on a location in Michigan for the new college, but the sale fell through. Feeling disappointed and disillusioned, most of the committee members gave up, assuming the dream of a college was dead. But Everest rallied the other two men, convincing them to look at another potential location in Mishawaka, Indiana. And somehow, these three convinced others to come along, and the reality of Bethel began to take shape. Soon after Bethel opened its doors, the need for a multi-purpose facility became necessary due to growing student enrollment. Bethel students and faculty took up the cause to complete Goodman Auditorium, spearheading the effort to raise funds and even volunteering labor for tasks such as digging the foundation and laying the wood floor. Without their tenacity and determination, the project may never have been completed. Another chapter of Faithfulness was written in 1988, when Bethel faced declining enrollment and financial instability that led to a serious discussion as to whether the college could continue to exist. During this period of extreme uncertainty, Walt Weldy, a local banker and churchman, assumed the role of interim president, using his own professional expertise and resources to rally administration, donors, and community leaders to get Bethel on solid financial footing. It wouldn't be the last time in Bethel's history that odds seemed insurmountable. And it wouldn't be the last time that ordinary, faithful individuals came together choosing to invest whatever time, energy, and money they had available, even when it seemed like it wasn't enough, because they believed God wanted to do great things through Bethel. In the early 1990s, students took ownership of a campus project, asking administrators for a small prayer chapel to be built as a focal point between student housing, as a reminder to build their college life around prayer and worship. Students contributed their own funds to this effort, as well as collecting donations from others and again volunteering their time to help with construction. Today, Shiloh Prayer Chapel continues to accomplish the vision laid out by these students by enhancing the spiritual life of Bethel's campus community. Throughout our last 75 years, Countless faculty, staff, students, alumni, and donors have persisted in believing that God wants to do transformational work through Bethel University. And they didn't stop at having faith. They rolled up their sleeves and contributed to the cause with whatever time, talent, or treasure they had available. The result of their effort is what we see today, a spiritually vibrant campus, academic programs, a strong presence in our community, national athletic championships, more than 20,000 living alumni who are impacting the world for Christ, and most importantly, endless stories of lifelong friendships and lives impacted by Christ.